Right. We're about to palpate supraspinatus, which is one of the rotator cuff muscles. So I have my individual in prone, and I'm identifying currently right now the spine of the scapula. So supraspinatus is originating from the supraspinous fossa of the scapula. So once I've identified the spine of the scapula, I want his trapezius to be in more of a passive state, which is why we have him in prone. I'm gonna roll my fingertips forward, kind of pushing traps out of the way and sinking down into the supraspinous fossa. I'm gonna ask him to do just a little bit of abduction of my hand, good, and relax. And not a lot, but just enough to start to engage the muscle with its primary action. So again, we're not squeezing for this muscle. We're definitely gonna to have to sink down through trapezius. Now remember, traps is doing some upward rotation and elevation of our scapula, but supraspinous is gonna be acting on the glenohumeral joint, which is why we're asking them to do abduction and minimally to try to engage supra versus trapezius. Once I've identified the origin and the majority of its belly, I'm gonna follow that lateral until I start feeling the acromion. Supraspinous is going underneath the acromion process, which is from there to there, and then it comes out on the opposite side here, laterally, and it's gonna insert fairly soon, almost right away, on what's known as the superior facet of the greater tubercle of the humerus. So you can basically almost draw a straight line following that supraspinous fossa, acromion, acromion, drop off. And if you sink in, it's not always comfortable, but you will come across some very ropey strands of supraspinous tendon. The other way to get supraspinous tendon to pop out is if, again, they're able to, putting the hand in the small of the back will draw the head down, which will make that supraspinous tendon stick out even more, like in this area here. He's gonna do just a gentle bit of abduction, good. You're gonna see a lot of deltoid firing, but deep to that's gonna be the supraspinatus tendon.